Hi, this is Megan Bax with the EXP Realty Seabock team. I'm up here today at a hillside property in Cave Creek. This territorial was built in 2003. It's got a smooth stucco exterior. As you can see, a pavered steps with lights in them to get up. The garage is underneath and a really cool game room. All pavered drive. And it's got just a short dirt road to get up 38th from Cloud. This property is in the town of Cave Creek. It is connected to a sewer and city water, which is really nice. No well to deal with. It's got this nice glass block um, in the entryway. Beautiful, beautiful uh, door there. And you're gonna have some city light views, mountain views from here. There's a little patio off the great room too get those views. As you come in, you've got some wood floors laid on the diagonal. Great room with beams and Vega poles. Custom lighting. And again, just these spectacular views down of the valley. Kind of hard to capture in a phone here. Got a fireplace up here. Stacked, stacked stone, built-ins, plenty big enough for that huge television. Tons of natural light. And you've got some nice you know, built-ins over there too for storage. This is a split floor plan. We'll start over here. You can see there's the stairs to the um, downstairs game room and half bath and garages. It's a three car. Got these beautiful decorative niches. Plenty of room for a nice big table. This is set for six, but you could probably even do an eight person table there. Beautiful view of the backyard and the mountains here in Cave Creek. We'll get out to the backyard, don't you worry. You've got a two way fireplace in here under this Vega pole, also makes a nice serving station kitchen you've got a nice big island with a secondary sink with reverse osmosis. Looks to be a naughty alder cabinet with granite countertops. Looks to me to be maybe a level two granite. And again out looking out onto this beautiful very private backyard. Undermount sinks. You've got black appliances in here. Mix of KitchenAid, Kenmore, and Frigidaire. Looks like a new refrigerator, which does convey with the property. This is kind of your pantry here, storage area. You can see we're still on the wood floors. In here, we've got LG washer dryer, Utility sink, check out these views back here. It's from your laundry room. Kind of makes you want to do laundry. Lots of storage in this house. That's one thing I really like about it. You've got this nice spot. They've got a secondary freezer in here. Um, we'll take a slower look, but really nice wide doors, oiled bronze. Um, fixtures and pulls on the cabinets. And this is looking out onto your kitchen. But tons of counter cabinet space. You have a flat top electric range, custom backsplash there. Built-in desk here. All this is located on 1.7 acres. And it's just shy of 5,000 square feet. Up here, um, we're going to have all en suites. So it's a four bedroom, five bath. And what that is, is four en suite bedrooms, meaning the bathroom is attached. They also have walk-in closets, which is spectacular. 
and custom built-ins. So really useful storage space in all, all throughout the house. You'll notice you have smooth walls in here instead of the orange peel as well. This bathroom has a naughty alder again, which runs throughout the house. You've got nice custom um, medicine cabinet, nice fixtures in here. Culture marble top, one of those bronze, and then this is just a culture marble one piece around. Does have the nice light up there as well. Again, more decorative niches, just really a lot of nice design to this property. Here's your closet in this one. Like I said, they all have these nice built-ins. All good size rooms. This is a custom home. This one has a walk-in shower only, no tub. And then nice um, undermount sink. Here's the first of the two half baths. You have one on each level, pedestal sink. Everything's painted in a nice neutral. You can really see the size of the bedroom's bigger in here because there's no furniture. <laughs> um, they have this set up as an office. It is also an ensuite bedroom, full bath, walk-in shower. All cultured marble counters and showers and all of these. Again, custom medicine cabinet and the same fixture. We'll do the downstairs last. Let's go over to your master again. What I really like is you've got um, it split. So you've got room over here. Master, I think I said the balcony was off the great room. I'm sorry, it's off the master. And you can see, we'll just take a peek out there because it would be a lovely spot. If you're a... Uh, into it for a glass of wine at night or for your coffee in the morning. Reinforced patio where you can get some views. And again, these are gonna be your city light views. So this is south and west facing right there. Um, huge master. Again, you've got the flooring on the diagonal. Barn door going into the bath. Two-way fireplace with stacked stone. Here you've got a porcelain tile in the bathroom. Executive height counters. Naughty Alder cabinets, it appears. Huge walk-in closet with all the custom built-ins. Anyone could want, really. I'm having closet envy. <laughs> um, out here, we've got a separate water closet, which is always really nice. And of course, would be expected in a home of this uh, price point. Uh, glass block all throughout here, so you get a lot of natural light. There's your shower. Little snail shower. You've got a soaking tub here. You can enjoy the fireplace. Really nice um, setup and very spacious. Okay, and again, here's your view on the other side out of your master. Pretty sweet. Okay, let's take a look at the back and then we'll run down to the game room and wine room, which are also very nice. Nice big covered patio. You can see you've got built-in speakers, uh, recessed lighting. It's a smooth stucco exterior. I think I said that already, but um, nice natural grass. That's real grass with the planters. I'm sure they're piped with uh, water there, but just stunning backyard. You've got a gas fire pit, covered area with misters. Who going a little fast, sorry. Those are just your window wells down there um, because it is built into the hillside. Those are fire escapes uh, for the downstairs level, which is really just an entertainment level. Um, here you've got a beautiful outdoor kitchen. Imagine barbecuing your dinner with that view. <clears throat> it makes nice use of this 1.7 acres, um, assuming you don't want it for horses or anything. Um, you've got another more of a Kiva fireplace out here that's wood burning. 
we'll take a slow look back here. You do have entry into your laundry from the side there. Here you've got a full pool fence. Um, I'd have to double check Cave Creek, but as long as your children are six and older, you could remove that, I believe. I think it would be a matter if you felt comfortable with it. I don't know what kids live around here and that type of a thing. Um, beautiful, just stunning views. I can't say that enough time. Huge, huge pool. It's a play pool. That's a waterfall feature that does come on. You got a built-in cleaning system. It's a pebble tech, it looks like, or pebble sheen. Um, it was built by Shasta. This is called a Baja step. We use these in the summer. That's an umbrella sleeve. Um, they were where the hole is. And um, people really like these for little kids, dogs, um, you know, something where you can sit and not be totally immersed in the water. But those are really nice as well. Let's go check out that game room. Sorry, this tour's a little long. But this thing's uh, obviously fairly large and spacious, so... It's a real classic territorial. Those beams and everything were done very nicely. It's gonna have a flat roof. It's typically a foam roof. Um, and those are just treated a little bit differently. We can talk to you more about how those work. Um, I don't think I pointed out here, but there was a Brickley travertine in this great room as well just really nice just kind of miss it with the flooring over here <clears throat> beautiful wrought iron handrails here and lighting for the steps this is wood flooring. I'm not 100% sure it's not laminate. I'm going to have to find that out. But it is very nice looking and in good shape. It says it was done in 2018. Um, okay, this is more like a Four Seasons closet. You have a painted cement floor in here. We call them that in Colorado, but it's more just a large storage area. You can keep your, I think we call it that. This is more where you maybe keep your holiday stuff that you use occasionally. Here is a coat closet downstairs. I'm saving the game room for the last. Um, this is your oversized three car garage. Really nice space here. You've got water softening system and some cabinets and whatnot back here. Full three car garage. You can see you've got a lot of extra space back there as well. It's your water heater way back there. It is not epoxied, uh, but obviously that's always something you could do later. It does have a door. Besides the um, garage doors as well, going out to the front, take your trash out or whatever. Here you go. I mean, if this doesn't uh, appeal to a lot of people, I don't know what would, but heated, air conditioned shop. Um, really nicely done. You even have a utility sink in here. So, some would call it a man cave. Also this, <laughs> you've got a beautiful setup down here. Now they do have the ceilings painted really dark. Um, so if you wanted to make this a little bit lighter, you could very easily by changing the paint. Again, pedestal sink, toilet. This is your second half bath. So when it lists five baths, it, it's including the two halves. Here we have wet bar kind of, well, not a wet bar area, refrigerator, countertop, serving station. Amazing gym. Set up down here. Again, this is all kind of quote unquote a walkout basement. It's not quote unquote, it just is. Um, this one, this water heater says it was installed in 2018 in April. It's a pretty new water heater. It's your air handlers. Um, as we come back out here, you can see nice custom backsplash there. Hopefully the lighting is just kind of funky with these windows, but. You've got a beautiful walk-in. This is open. It is climate controlled. 
point. Ooh, step up here. You can see uh, really nice wine fridge. We've got a nice setup here. Their wine glasses and whatnot. Um, this has got more of a plank style laminate, which leads me to believe the rest is probably laminate also. Um, as we look out, you know, you still even have views from here. Um, you're going to see city light views at night. Um, this is just another storage area. Great spot for luggage, obviously. So really great home. Awesome for entertaining. Let me know what you think. And if you have an interest in seeing it, my number is 602-980-9098. Thank you.